The Stellar Awards recognize the people behind the scenes of the space program who are making outstanding contributions to its success and who are vital to the future of our nation's space effort. This year, there were 135 individuals and 40 teams for a total of 175 nominations from 16 different states and Washington, D.C., and 34 different organizations from across industry, NASA, and the Department of Defense. We would like to thank our stellar, our very stellar, stellar ranking team of Dr. Glenn Lunny, Arnie Aldrich, Colonel Eileen Collins, and Captain Michael Coates for a very difficult task of ranking the candidates. <laughs> Only a few can be winners tonight, but all are to be congratulated for their outstanding work. The identities of the winners in each category have not been revealed. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to invite two of our nation's astronauts to the podium to present the stellar awards. Please welcome Colonel Shane Kimbrough, Mission Specialist, Space Walker, and Commander of the International Space Station during exhibition, Expedition, Exhibition, yeah. Maybe that too, I don't know. Like, Expedition 50, with a total of 189 days in space, and his fellow astronaut, Dr. Peggy Whitson, who just returned from Expedition 50 and 51 aboard the International Space Station. Dr. Whitson now holds the U.S. record for time on orbit with 665 days in space. If you're counting, is that about two years? Uh-huh. Please give them a warm round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, it's indeed an honor for both of us to be here tonight to help present the Stellar Awards. Peggy, it's a special honor for me to be on the stage with you. I mean, come on, people, 665 days <laughs> off the planet. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. We have 10 winners in the mid-career category, selected from a field of 44 candidates. So I'd like to invite these folks to the foot of the stage. Lieutenant Colonel Robert M. Atkins of the United States Air Force, Trevor M. DeVault of the Boeing Company, Jerry Draper of Lockheed Martin, Dr. Mar Mark W. Hilberger of NASA Langley Research Center, Dr. William E. Green of Orbital ATK, Justin McFadder of Boeing Company, Laura M. Lucier of NASA Johnson Space Center, Rocky E. Nelson of the Boeing Company, Satish uh, Reedy of Jacobs, and Dr. Lawrence M. Robertson of the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory. Please come join us at the base of the stairs. Lieutenant Colonel Robert M. Atkins of the United States Air Force is recognized for visionary leadership in creating the first ever launch multi-manifest office and establishing the Space Innovation Academy to educate young students about space. Trevor M. DeVault of the Boeing Company is recognized for outstanding effort leading the development of a third international docking adapter for the ISS.
Jerry Draper of Lockheed Martin is recognized for outstanding technical achievement in inventing the new Orion heat shield block architecture and upgrading the reentry design for lunar and Mars missions returns. Dr. Mark W. Hellberger of NASA Langley Research Center is recognized for outstanding technical efforts in the development of a comprehensive plan to improve shell buckling knockdown factors. Dr. William E. Green of Orbital ATK is recognized for outstanding leadership, technical excellence, and dedication to the Orion Launch Abort Attitude Control Motor Controls Team success. Justin McFadder of Boeing Company is recognized for outstanding leadership and outstanding support of the NASA Docking Systems Project. Laura M. Lucier of NASA Johnson Space Center is recognized for outstanding contributions to operations and robotics for human space flight, contributing to the successes of space shuttle and international space station programs. Rocky E. Nelson of the Boeing Company is recognized for outstanding contributions and dedication to ensure the exploration upper stage thermal design surpasses expectations. Satish Reedy of Jacobs is recognized for outstanding innovations, leadership, and contributions to structural analysis and human spaceflight. And the final mid-career award goes to Dr. Lawrence M. Robertson of the United States Air Force Research Laboratory for exceptional contributions to developing capabilities that significantly enhance navigation performance of guidance, navigation, and control. And ladies and gentlemen, please congratulate all the winners in the mid-career category. Tonight's stellar award winners represent the very best of the thousands of people working in our space program. Yes, Peggy, we can surely be proud of all the stellar award nominees, for they are all winners and give us hope for the future. Uh, we want you guys to have a great evening tonight. Peggy and I will sign off here. i got one more announcement I want to make. Peggy will be signing autographs for the next four hours. Uh, just line up at the stage here, and we'll be good to go. Just kidding, of course. <laughs> have a great night. find my place. That really outstanding. The individual awards, team awards, wow. Smart, smart people. 